The Philippines is home to at least 24 active volcanoes that could visit widespread and incalculable damage to lives and property should they erupt. A push to put 14 of the active ones under FIVOX watch and install new and modern seismic monitoring equipment there is in the works at the lower house. Our Ryan Lasigas tells us more on this modernization scheme in this report. There are 24 active volcanoes in the Philippines. Ten of these are under the monitoring of FIBOX. Of the ten, Taal Volcano and Mount Mayon were allotted with complete monitoring equipment to record their daily volcanic activity. Those that are not monitored by FIBOX include the Kabalian Volcano in Barangay Kagingkingan in the town of Anahawan, Southern Leyte. If this volcano should erupt, around 241,000 people and 30 airports could be affected. FIBOX is also unable to monitor the activities of Matutum Volcano in South Cotabato, which could affect over 1 million in the event of an eruption. In addition, there are 27 potentially active volcanoes in the country. There is a huge gap between the resources allocated to the Institute and the hazard generators that the Institute needs to study and monitor. There are currently 117 seismic stations in the country used for monitoring earthquakes. This is far from the 300 seismic stations needed throughout the country. The lack of permanent employees in their agency is also a problem for FIBOX. Right now, we have 209 uh, permanent uh, positions in FIBOX. And we have uh, 237 uh, Cost staff. So, mas malaki pang cost staff kaysa permanent positions. And I don't think that is sustainable because ang nangyari is uh, we hire them, yung mga cost staff, and then uh, we train them, and then they leave because uh, wala namang uh, uh, security of tenure. And nakakakita sila ng uh, permanent jobs. Of course, kukunin nila yan. So, again, uh, nagiging cycle na lang siya, and that is not sustainable. These challenges faced by FIBOX will be resolved once House Bill No. 7142 or the FIBOX Modernization Act becomes law. The proposed legislation provides for the upgrading of existing monitoring and early warning devices against natural calamities, especially volcanic eruption and tsunami. Under the measure, 7 billion pesos is allocated for the modernization of the agency. They're very supportive of the, uh, of the passage of this bill. However, kung hindi man ma mapas tung bid, uh, FIVOX would still be on the forefront in the study of uh, earthquakes and uh, volcanoes. But we're hoping na may pass uh, ito because at the end of the day, it would, uh, the passage of this bill would greatly benefit the Filipino people. The measure is currently at the committee level of the House of Representatives. Nananawagan po ko sa mga kaibigan natin sa Senate na if they could uh, run into this, tignan nila, bigyan nila ng pansin. So that we could also have a counterpart sa Senate. Ryan Lee Siges for the